Hello again. Well, I keep saying that. I should quit saying that. Anyway, this is the first of what I'm tentatively calling the metamorphosis of the ESL learner. And look that up. I'm not even sure how to spell it, so you have to do a spell check or two before you look it up. But metamorphosis is the complete changing of one creature into an apparent other, apparently another creature, but it's actually the same thing. Think of the caterpillar. Remember the caterpillar that's inching its way <laughs> down the road? And one day, it starts making itself into a cocoon. This, this is a touchy-feely thing. I'm trying to connect with your right brain. And anyway, it, something's going on in there. Something is going on in there, and it sits dormant for a long time. And then one day, it opens up into a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that sweet? You and me, everyone, is a caterpillar. Some of us are very impressive caterpillars, beautiful caterpillars. But you're waiting to transform and to bloom into a beautiful butterfly. One of my jobs that I've decided that I'm going to do as a coach, as a spoken English coach, is to help you stay on track and to develop the faith that it is a process, a natural process. You do not stop at a caterpillar, no matter how beautiful, no matter how grand that is. You do not lay dormant within that cocoon of your process of coming into your full um, beauty of being a fluent um, speaker of English. You continue doing whatever it takes, whatever the natural process is, knowing that one day you will become a butterfly. Okay, enough for metaphor, enough for metamorphosis. Most of the people that I work with in English have already completed their uh, first stage. They have learned words. They have learned uh, conjugating of verbs. They have learned uh, grammar. But they have not continued the process. Either they are laying dormant and have given up on fluency, being able to share the beauty and the ideas and the interaction in English, or they have decided that being a caterpillar is enough. Now, they may be very fast butter butterfly, very, I mean, caterpillar. Uh, you may be able to process your um, sub-translating of back and forth into your native language very fast. But ultimately, you do not have that depth of understanding and that depth of being able to emote and to share and to hear things in English. It's a different world. It's a different creature. It is the butterfly end of things that you're staying in the cocoon. My mission in life is to create a fun way to break into that right brain activity of owning and becoming fluent, but also to encourage you on the path that 10, yeah, ten karaoke songs probably will not be enough for most of you. Um, practice is going to take a long time. Repetition is king, right? So it is going to take time. But one of the things that I want to remind you is that you are and you are created to be and you will naturally become a butterfly and fluent in English. You simply have to continue the process. Do not stop. Do not be satisfied. It is frustrating, and I am sure that there is emotional and psychological pain involved, and that's okay. Um, I think some Greek writer said that uh, the process of pain is what develops wisdom, 
And pain is part of the process. Now, we want to have been fun with it. Pain doesn't have to be gory and ugly, but it's okay to get frustrated. And one of the things that I hope I can bring to you is to remind you that there is something so special and so unique and so beautiful about where you are going that I, for one, will not be satisfied with you stopping, that I will do everything within my power to not only help you in the process, but to encourage you to keep faith in the process, whether that extends on into your personal faith paradigm with God or however you um, find these deeper parts of you, the spirituality that is you, but I want to encourage that and I want you to know that I know that you are valuable and beautiful beyond anyone's idea and that the process works if you stay with the process. So believe in yourself. Believe in whatever process you've chosen. Stay on track. Do not get distracted. Don't be afraid of the quiet times and the hard times, the cocoon time, that in time you too will be a butterfly, a beautiful butterfly with your English and being able to touch another individual with the beauty that is you. Okay, that's it. Kind of touchy-feely, huh? <laughs>